So guys, come on. Really? Social media for real estate? Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on this. It's just, <laughs> you guys are just using it for another sales channel, right? A lot of people are, actually. And in my daily job, I actually go out and talk to people and teach them the value of communication through social media. And it's not just about communicating you know, while the transaction is happening. It's the before process, the after process, and the relationship building process. So that's what I do every day. You build relationships with people who are going to buy a house, and then you never need to talk to them again. No, actually, that's what real estate agents are oh, doing. Okay. For whoa, the whoa, part. whoa, whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're doing that, Carl. We show up at, with, you know, we show up with the closing gift, and then it's over. Then we don't have to talk yeah. to them again. So it's all about continually building that relationship and building upon it. I'm not a real estate agent. I actually work for a real estate company. So we're a website that's owned by Rogers, mm -hmm. and I work with real estate agents every single day. So this is what I teach them. Gotcha. Now, Lewis, you've, you were, were a mortgage person. You were on the dark side. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you were responsible for the real estate meltdown across North America. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so I understand. Now I'm going to bring it to Montreal. But now you, you're <laughs> pretending to be a good guy in your social media. Yeah. But I, I'm joking. I, I know you're a good guy. <laughs> um, right? Right. Okay. But so how, how have you been using social to make an impact here? Uh, well, in, you know, I was an early adopter of um, blogging on a network called ActiveRain.com Real Estate uh, back when um, it was a 14-4 baud modem. And we found out early on, this is early social media, that if someone makes a comment about mortgages or real estate and you comment back and someone comments back and you just share high quality information, um, you were making yourself an authoritative figure, and you were also uh, had some SEO powers within Google and Yahoo at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that's what real estate agents and mortgage guys are they're missing. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you look at a Facebook and you just see the real estate agent. Look at this property, look at this property. It's like, right. I don't even know you. What, Carlton, guilty? Say hi. Well, I think that is the biggest challenge uh, with real estate professionals is they, they don't understand how to use the sites uh, to benefit themselves. In real estate, you're a marketer. You're, you're marketing to the public. You're, you're marketing yourself out there as a knowledgeable expert in real estate. And what happens is they start on like a Facebook where almost everybody starts. I think that's the first place we go. And that's quite honestly where they should start because of the local marketing opportunities within Facebook. And then the next thing they do is they go to Twitter. And then they look at Twitter and they go, oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> you know, what are these hashtags? I don't know this language. I don't get it. And uh, they continue to try to do it. Or what they'll do is they'll take that step to hook Twitter up with their Facebook business page and just expect that information to translate to Twitter and build up followers. And it doesn't really work out that way. Get creative with the postings. Look at taking a new listing, and instead of saying, here's the price, come visit it, call me if you need something, hey, who can guess what street this is on in this town? Mm. Or who can guess the asking price? Or who can guess how much this home sold for? Or just take random funny houses or, or different pictures or what celebrity lives in this home, just so people get to know that, yes, you're the realtor to connect with in that circle. When, when, when it's... Um a one-way conversation, mm -hmm. it's advertising. It's not social media. Absolutely. Um, and the ability to listen, uh, use social listening, there's, there's so many uh, um, avenues for finding prospects out there just by just watching the streams. And the social finding media prospects, streams. though. You and are, just, you and are just being nursing. honest and saying, I can answer your question. Right. Instead so what's interesting here with this panel is we've got an entire ecosystem of real estate up here. We've got Mila uh, works in insurance. And where, where does it all fit in for you in the whole process of people's homes and home buying? Well, I think, you know, the first, the first oh, thing... Oh, is Mila on? Hello? There you go. Got it. <laughs> Every, you can hear me now? <laughs> okay. Um, I think that the, the first thing that happens when you do end up buying your home or you're looking at a home is you end up calling your broker. And that's something that we, you know, we get a lot of calls uh, regularly from people. I'm going to buy home. I'm going to the notary. I need this. I need that. Please help me. Or, you know, we had an inspection. Different things, you know, weren't quite right. Is that going to be okay? Is it going to be a problem for insurance? Um, so I think we're very much interconnected with the real estate 
industry because we sell the insurance for homes or commercial properties or pretty much anything you buy unless you're buying it without a mortgage, you do need to have insurance for. So I think that's where, I, you know, my interest um, in, in what's happening with real estate agents comes in. I think that real estate agents are social people. They mm -hmm. just in general, in order to be a successful real estate agent, you have to be social. You're not walking around with your sign saying, buy this, buy that. And there, it's been really interesting to me to see how there's a huge difference between um, you know, someone like Carlton, who's on social media, he's conversing, that's how we met. I wasn't trying to buy a home from him, he wasn't trying to sell me a home. You know? But there's other people who are just posting those listings. And uh, Lewis brought something up, which I think is, is very important, is that these are opportunities to have conversations to write blogs about what you know about so that people get to understand who you are and what you know about. And from the insurance perspective, you know, I do try and put some of these uh, things into my blog, like what to look for when you have a home inspection. And I'm not trying to sell anyone anything. I don't sell, po I don't, you know, send tweets out going, buy insurance from me, it's cheap. That's the last thing I want to do. I don't well, actually, I teach real estate agents how to use the online environment in general, yeah. not just social media. So we talk about all of the top websites. We'll go through the list, the Comscore list, and we'll say, hey, you know what? You're going to be social, yes, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. However, it's more important to be everywhere in the online environment when you're talking about the top 10 properties and engaging in those communities and being active on different sites that are the top sites where people are going. I think that's very, very important. And it isn't just about social, it's about looking at the bigger picture as well.